I'm Aaron, a birding naturalist. Welcome back. I'm going to spend my day kind of poking around the delta, um, birding, seeing what I can find, maybe exploring some new spaces, and I thought you might like to join me. I also thought I might like to share some ideas with you of how I find birding places. So uh, let's go drive around for a while, see what happens. A little while ago, I posted a video about pocket birding, sort of birding in little pockets of habitat in urban areas. And one thing that that kind of raised was kind of the question of how do you even find birding spots? How would you know where those pockets of habitat even are? So I have a whole bunch of little tricks that I do to find birding spots. One is I spend quite a bit of time looking around on Google Maps. Um, you know, there's a there's that satellite layer, so you can have an image of what the ground sort of really looks like. And so I use that to track around an area, maybe uh, an area where I live, especially like if I've moved someplace, I'm trying to get a lay of the land, figure out where in the area, where my sort of new neighborhood good birding spots might be. And so I look for sort of green spaces. And also I look for places that might have water features. So if there's a little park with a pond in it, that's always a really good sign. Um, if there's a, an industrial area with a water area around behind it or something like that, probably a probably a spot worth checking out. So just spending some time with a good map and just kind of scanning around Zooming in, zooming out, very, very useful for finding spots to bird, and especially when paired around water. Another great online resource is eBird, um, and I will leave a link in the description below. eBird is this amazing program, sort of this online crowdsource citizen science database managed by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. And it is an absolute fantastic treasure trove of information on where birds hang out, where to find birds. It has hotspots where people can make lists and leave lists of the species that they see. And so you can, you can go online and look where have other people birded in this area? What have they been seeing? Um, so yeah, as far as a map with a very serious bird layer on top of it, eBird is a fantastic resource for where to find birding spots to go and check out for yourself. Another great way of finding a birding spot <clears throat> is to reach out to local groups. These can be Audubon chapters or bird clubs associated with universities or other bird clubs, bird clubs associated with anybody, and get to know the people who bird the area where you're interested and find out some good spots from them. Most birders that I've met are tremendously excited and willing to share information of favorite birding spots. Um, so yeah, just meet people, go with them, ask them. A great resource for finding birding spots. And then after I have looked at maps, sometimes physical, but also definitely online. Looked at eBird, talked to 
local birding clubs, Audubon chapters, talk to other birders that I meet. There is a good old fashioned boots on the ground, poke around and go birding. Experimenting and actually going around looking for birding spots is kind of the, the acid test. It's what it always comes down to. Doesn't mean every experiment is gonna be successful. Sometimes you go out birding, sometimes you find a spot and it's just not great. It's just not, but it's really the only way that you'll know for sure is to go out, try a spot and maybe try it a few times. Sometimes you gotta try a spot in the breeding season and also in the non-breeding season. Maybe it's good sometimes of the year and not others. Maybe it's a migrant trap, that kind of thing. But actually going out, spending time birding, and looking around, and poking around, and seeing what you can find is the ultimate way of finding a birding spot. So I'm curious, beyond my tips that I've shared, what do you like to do to find birding spots near you? Have you discovered some of your favorite little treasure troves of species and habitats? I hope you'll share them in the comments. I hope if you have tips and tricks, we can all learn from each other. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe picked up a useful tip and trick as well. The Delta is a beautiful place. It's been really fun to come and explore some parts of it that I've actually never seen before either. And so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Thank you very much for the view. Happy 2024. Until next time, we're the natural world. <laughs>